This is the AI-weighted RSI by Zyerman. It's basically a smarter, adaptive take on classic RSI that tries to look a little bit ahead instead of only reacting to what just happened. The trick is that it doesn't only read RSI by itself. It also checks how other things like returns, volatility, and volume are moving with RSI, and then it weights those relationships to build a forward-leaning momentum read. The idea is you get a smoother, more responsive oscillator that adapts as the market regime changes, instead of a fixed formula that treats every bar the same. Now, to get it on your chart, go to the platform I'm using and open the indicator search. Type AI-weighted RSI and pick the one by Zyerman. Drop it on and you'll see an oscillator pane appear with a color graded line and a zero center. We'll go over what that coloring means and how to read it in a second, but that's all you need to add it. Now, the AI weighted RSI works like a smart coach watching the game, not just the scoreboard. Every bar, it checks a small set of players, RSI itself, recent returns, volatility, and volume, and how volume changed, and asks which of these are actually moving in step with RSI right now. The players that sync up get more minutes, the ones out of sync get benched, and that mix becomes a single weight for the next moment. Think of it like a weather forecaster blending wind, pressure, and temperature to call the next move, or a sound engineer sliding faders up and down until the track sounds right. That blended weight is plotted around a simple zero line. Above zero leans bullish, like a tailwind, below zero leans bearish, like a headwind, and the shading acts like a heat meter. When it pushes beyond roughly a half step into the positive or negative zone, you're looking at overbought or oversold pressure building. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the components exactly as they appear in the style panel. The AI-weighted RSI is the main line on the oscillator, that purple line you see pulsing with momentum. AI-weighted RSI signal line is the yellow line that smooths the main line and helps you spot turns a bit easier. AI-weighted RSI upper band marks the positive threshold, which is set to 0.5 by default. AI-weighted RSI middle band is the zero line, the center of gravity. AI-weighted RSI lower band marks the negative threshold at negative 0.5 by default. AI-weighted RSI background fill shades the area behind the main line so you can see strength and weakness as a simple color field. Overbought gradient fill paints a stronger green overlay as the oscillator pushes higher above the upper band, and oversold gradient fill paints a stronger red overlay as it sinks below the lower band. On the chart, when the purple line is above the middle band and climbing, you're seeing building bullish pressure. When it's below and fading, you're seeing bearish pressure. The green and red gradients act like a heat meter. The deeper the color, the stronger the push. Let's open the settings so we can tune it. I'm setting RSI length to 34 and signal length to 20 for a calm, readable curve. Most importantly, I'm changing the learning window to 30. That number is how many bars the script studies to figure out which inputs matter most right now. A learning window of 30 gives you a good balance. It's steady enough to ignore random spikes, but still quick enough to adjust when the market shifts tone. If you go much shorter, it reacts faster, but may get jumpy in shop. If you go much longer, it becomes very stable, but slower to spot new momentum. After changes, click OK. Now, let's talk about how we can use this indicator to trade. The first method, obviously, is to use the AI-weighted RSI to identify the trend of the market. Whenever the AI-weighted RSI is above the middle band, the zero line, that's a bullish trend, and you're going to be looking to take only long positions. Whenever it's below the middle band, that's a bearish trend, and you're going to be looking to take only short positions. Keeping your trades on the same side as the middle band helps you stay with momentum instead of fighting it. The second use of this indicator is to find overbought and oversold areas. We do that by watching the AI-weighted RSI push to extreme levels. If the background turns bright and the line drops well beyond the lower band, not just a tiny dip, but way past it near the minus one area, that tells me the market has overextended to the downside and may be oversold. 
I don't jump in right away. I wait for the purple line to cross back above the yellow signal line to confirm a bullish trend reversal before I take a long position. For the opposite case, when the oscillator runs far above the upper band, almost reaching the plus one mark, and the fill turns bright, that's an overextension to the upside. I wait for the line to come back down and cross under the yellow signal line to confirm a potential bearish reversal, then I look for a short. Those signal line crosses help filter weak moves and focus on turns with better follow through. The third method is divergences, and this is where we add a helper to make the structure clean. Open indicators and add pivots high and low by Dr. Bull. Double click it, go to the style tab, turn off the lines and click OK so you keep just the pivot marks. Those marks make it easy to spot double tops and double bottoms and to compare price swings to the oscillator. A bullish divergence happens when price prints a lower low at the pivots while the AI-weighted RSI prints a higher low. Price says down, momentum says not so fast. When I see that, I'll often wait for a simple market structure break above the small pullback high and then take the long. A bearish divergence is the mirror image. Price tags a higher high at the pivots while the oscillator makes a lower high. I'll wait for price to slip back under a nearby structure level and then take the short. Using the pivot marks keeps the comparison honest and using a clear structure break gives the divergence time to prove it before you commit. That's the core playbook. Use the middle band for bias, use the band extremes plus the yellow signal line cross for overbought or oversold turns, and use pivot-based divergences to catch early shifts with a clean structure trigger. Keep risk tight and let winners breathe. This indicator adapts, but you still want confluence and sound trade management. One last note on expectations. This is still an oscillator. It won't magically fix every choppy stretch. The AI weighted part just means the indicator keeps rechecking which inputs matter most right now and shifts its weighting to match the market's current behavior. In strong trends, you'll often see steadier time above or below zero. In ranges, expect more whipsaws and lean harder on structure, higher time frame context, and your risk rules. That's how you keep the tool helpful and not a distraction. This is not financial advice. Everything here is educational and the indicator alone is not a complete strategy. You should add your own confluence, price action, higher time frame structure, key levels, volume, and risk management, and make your own decisions. If you found value in this video, remember to leave a like, or even better, consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you next time.